Okay guys, we're finally back with a new episode of Alkyr Style 3. Last episode we fought Revolver Ocelot and now we're stuck in a damn cave. Now, I really did hate this part as a child. I was scared of the dark back then and I couldn't see a damn thing. I don't know if you could see anything better on my screen, but as I'm playing it, it's pitch black. So, maybe, I don't know, maybe it just has a different effect when I'm playing it. I don't know. But, um, overall, we got to try and find a way inside the cave. This place is like a maze. So, the only thing we're going to do is take our time, collect all the items we need and and then move forward so i think that's everything i think oh yeah okay so if we go to our backpack and do we need that oh no i'll just leave my items for now and see what happens so i'm just sticking close to the wall so i can see where i'm going and not too bad. Uh, sorry guys, the sun is literally on my screen, so I can't really see properly. So if I look like I'm running into walls, it's only because the sun's on my screen. Okay, this area looks familiar. I think there's a torch in this area somewhere. Is there one by here? No? Okay. I swear to God there was one here. Or am I in the wrong area? Oh yeah, almost here. What's here? Is this it? Torch! There we go. This should make things a lot easier. So if we go into our backpack now, go into... Is it, is it weapons or items? No, it's in weapons. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, you can whack with it. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm only going to be using this torch for this area anyway. Once, I, once that's uh, done, it'll be useless. All right. This makes it a lot better now. Let's just keep moving. And there should be a hole which I can crawl into. There it is. Let's get inside. Oh! Bullfrog! Right, we got to hook them. Because they are very, very good. They're very good for recovering standby very quickly. So... Oh, there's another one. Come here, boy. Nothing personal, but I need your, I need your uh, meat. Nice. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Da, da, da. Sorry guys if you're claustrophobic. I'm trying my best to get through this. Oh, a snake. Right, let's get this one, because this one attacks. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. And see where we are from here. Okay, cool. Let's continue up this way. I think there's a shotgun in this area somewhere. If I can grab that, that'll be a bonus. To go try and find it. Okay, there's the Mark II weapons. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I noticed now it's starting to get a bit lighter, so... I don't think we really need the torch anymore. Which is a good thing, because if there's light, that means there's an exit nearby. So... Ah, there it is. Can we knock these, some of these bats down? No? Okay. Right, M37. That's a, a shotgun. Very effective. So, we're definitely going to use that at some point. Oh, great. I hate it when this gets stuck in certain areas. You can't crawl through it all the time. More bullfrogs. We're getting a lot of bullfrogs here. If Snake keeps carrying, carrying on like this, he's going to have enough to get through the whole mission. But sadly, guys, with time, uh, food does rot. So you got to be very careful. And just remember as well, um, time doesn't stop even when you've turned off the game. Because it goes by the PlayStation's clock. So even if you play, stop playing the game, the time will still continue. So, yeah, pretty messed up. We've got a new uniform. Snow. I'll probably never use it, but it's nice to add to the collection. Right, let's uh, head straight back. Ah, get in there. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There we go. Right. If we grab the torch again, just so I can see where I'm going. We're just going to go right for it. Let's just get straight to uh, 
the next area. That's to deal with the bats. Okay, we got this. Right, we're gonna have to uh, get some food up. Let's let's eat the cobra. Have a nice little uh, presentation. Well, at least you know what it's like now to eat a snake. <laughs> bit of a waste of bit of meat, but I guess you gotta take what you can get. So we're gonna take this snake, collect that. Nice. Right, we're gonna have to uh, switch up a bit. Get the shotgun out. Here we go. Now this looks like an open area. Wonder what's gonna happen here. Nice place for a bath. Oh boy, they found us again. Snake, dive! Who's this? We are the sons of the boss. Ha! I am the pain. <laughs> guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. With pleasure, we're about to fight our first cobra. The pain. Okay, this guy is pretty tough. But if we keep up the attack, we should be okay. And yeah, this guy can actually form weapons from bees. Pretty crazy. Come on, pain. Okay, let's get some uh let's get some information in. Snake, as long as the pain is using his hornets to protect his body, you won't be able to damage him with gun attacks. You'll need to use a grenade to get rid of the hornet swarm first. Go into first person view and throw a grenade at him. The shotgun should work as well. Get rid of those hornets protecting him and then attack him with a gun. Seems like a good idea. Let's uh, speak to Sigurd. The pain is said to possess the power to control his hornets at will. Watch out for insect-based attacks, especially his so-called bullet bees. Ah, the bullet bees. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll see them at some point. But let's get back up now, because we don't want to stay too much in the water, because it, um, it can be quite dangerous. Best thing to do is use the shotgun, a little bio control, so you can uh, take the bees around them. Crap! Right, save again. Oh crap! No! No, no, oh no. No, 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 no. He's got grenades. He's got grenades. They're coming. Right, get in the water. Jeez, that was intense. Right, can we, uh... Can we shoot him from here? Oh, he's protected. Oh no, he's not. There we go. We got you. <laughs> I love that move. Oh boy, you do not look too good. Time for phase two. Right, 
Right, he's going to be more shielded than ever now, so we got to be quick. Best way to avoid those bullet bees is to uh, hide underwater. Right, where's the shotgun? There we go. Nice. Stop rolling around. Damn it. Right. Damn right. Crap. Stop rolling. Hide from the bees. Not the bees. Oh, he's armed again. Crap. Come on, stop, move it. Okay, last bar. Okay, got five bullets left. Is it going to be enough? I do not know. Yeah, I've run out of bullets. Right. Hopefully there's some bullets around the other side because we haven't been there yet. There should be some up by here. There's bound to be. There's bound to be some NK2022 bullets. It's bound to be. Okay, there's, M there's M17. Yes! Stop cheating! Okay. Come on. Got you. Thank God for that. That was that was uh that was pretty hard. Very dramatic. With explosive results, for sure. But yeah, that's just a fail state, just in case they die in it, and so they don't have their bodies captured and experimented on. And now that he's down, we can now move forward. Right. I think what we're going to do now is uh, get some more codec calls in and see what everyone's reaction is. The exit from the cave should be toward the back. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. Well, no congratulations. The exit from the cave should be Nothing at all? Huh. Thank you, Zero. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Well, a bit of a nice, interesting backstory there, but, um... Tell you what, let's save, and, save. uh... See what happens from here, shall we? So let's save and let's hear what Paramount has to say about any new movies that she's got. Because we did uh, get her into trouble with James Bond. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to see what she has uh, have to say. Pretty sure she's got some more. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but 
it wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fishman? You started it. And I've ended it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you here for today. Really hope you enjoyed today's boss fight. Please like, comment, of course, support the channel. And I'll catch you all very, very soon for the next episode. Very soon. So until then, goodbye, of course. Stay amazing.